What's up everyone? Welcome to this super duper video. Why is it super duper? Because it's super duper. That's right, it's the new amp simulator from ML Sound Lab, Super Duper. And in this video, we're gonna take it for a test drive and then compare it to the Neural DSP Omega Ampworks Granifier. Stick around. Amazing. Welcome back. All right, so we're going to jump right into the Super Duper. So this actually has two different uh, amp simulators in it, essentially. Uh, there is a Super, and let me get rid of the pedal board here. You can see we have Super, um, which has more of your kind of crunchy, um, low gain uh, style tones. And then you have the Duper. Um, which is primarily what I'm going to focus on because it's more my cup of tea. Um, I like playing more the high gain tones, the high gain stuff. So this is where I'm going to spend my time. And what you just heard at the very beginning there, that whole ambient sound, um, that actually comes from a preset in here, which is amazing, just out of the box, called Duper Ambience. So I've, I've got the uh, split coil on the, uh, the neck pickup here and... This is just straight out of the box, what it sounds like. Really beautiful. So uh, that is the duper ambience. So for those who are interested in more of the, kind of the, the cleanish crunch uh, ambient tone, it absolutely can do that. But let's get to the stuff that uh, that I'm most interested in myself, which is the heavier stuff. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna jump to this duper gent preset here uh, and just kind of see what this thing sounds like out of the box. <laughs> really thick pretty tight too so that's what we've got going on here in the pedal board so we've got the the noise gate uh on we've got the drive on looks like we've got the tone actually almost all the way up levels all the way up drive all the way down kind of what i would thought the tone is higher than i thought it would be but sounds good so we've got uh, i did have to pull back the input game my input signals here was pretty hot but i pulled that back to, uh down a little bit uh we have gain up, I don't know, maybe around three o'clock-ish, something like that. Most everything right at noon, except for the mids, or the, we're pumping the mids out, master straight up the middle, and we're using the the uh, the, the custom, uh, or the, the inbuilt default impulse response that comes with this plugin. This thing sounds really good out of the box, but can we take it up a notch? Can we take this thing up another level um, is, is kind of what I thought, you know, when I was first demoing this thing, you know, it, it sounds sounds pretty good out of the box and I could totally play around with this all day long. Um, but for my liking to actually like really thicken up and tighten up the tone so that it just bites really hard, especially in a mix, uh, I was playing around with some stuff and I want to show you, see what you see what you think here. So. The first thing is, if we look at my signal chain down here, um, we're using this bus three for this particular tone. So if we uh, if we go ahead and we turn on, let me uh, pull up what I've got here and I'll show you. So I've got this, uh, this is from the Neural DSP Cali Suite, not using anything in it except for the Zool and the Grind pedals. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna engage this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the noise gate and the drive that are built in to the duper. So now we have the duper with the Fortin Zool and Grind. So let's just kind of play this same riff and see what this sounds like. <laughs> So 
So yeah, right out of the right out of the gate, I can tell uh, the grind is doing what it is designed to do, uh, and that is just really tighten up the low end. Um, this thing just feels uh, really really tight, really chugging right now. So then I've got to thinking. What would it sound like with a different IR? I know the IR that comes with this, Miko, is is amazing at what he does, and and this IR came with a beautifully matched, uh, or I'm sorry, this Ampsum came with a beautifully matched IR. But let's see what let's just kind of see what it lo sounds like if we play with this a little bit. And my absolute favorite uh, IR plugin that I've been using these days is the GGD Zilla Cabs. So I've got this fairly simple preset here. You can see the settings on the screen there. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna engage this. And then we're going to turn off the built-in IR, just uh, flipping this toggle here to off so that we then run through our complete signal chain, which if I move Zilla Cabs out of the way here and I'll just set it off the side here like this. You can see the entire signal chain. We have uh, a high and a low pass EQ, and that looks like this. And then we have the Fort and Cali suite through the Zool and Grind. Then we have the Amped Duper uh, with basically all the 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 duper gent default settings just with the pedal board and the uh, the default cab turned off and then we're going into studio cabs and then into uh smash and grab compressor which is just something i've been using to try and tighten up any woofiness in the low end especially when you're chugging so uh that's what that's there for and it's really not doing much so this is what it sounds like with the uh, ggg zilla cabs <laughs> My preference is the GG Zilla cabs. I immediately feel like it, it's really, again, just even tamed that low end uh, quite a bit from what the default IR had. Um, so again, this is for my taste, for my liking. Um, I've, I, I much prefer that that more that that tighter uh, that tighter tone, especially from what I'm getting with the Zilla cabs. Um, so again, here's what here we'll go back. I'm gonna toggle off Zilla cabs turn back on the default IR, and then uh, play this same riff again so you can hear the difference. And then with Zilla cabs again. So that's what they sound like. Uh, default IR, and with the Zilla cabs. And so now, as I hinted to in the beginning of the video, um, let's compare this with the Neural DSP Omega Ampworks Granifier and just see what they sound like. Um, I don't want this to turn into uh, which one sounds better because they both have their purpose. They're different amps. They honestly, I've already tried them and they both sound fantastic. I just figured I would share what they sound like so that you can compare for yourself. Uh, if you prefer one over the other, that's great. That's not what this video is for. I'm not going to tell you which one uh, that I prefer over the other because I think they both sound absolutely fantastic. Um, but because the the Dover amp, which obviously the the duper or the super duper, this is based um, this is based off of the Dover ampl amplifiers. Um, the Dover and the Omega, um, you know, those I've seen a lot of comparisons between the two. Um, there is there are some similarities, but let's let's just see what these plugins sound like when we compare them side by side here. So I've already got the Omega Ampworks Granifier loaded up and it is following the exact same signal chain as the duper. So that is, you look right here, we have the same high and low pass EQ, the Fortin and um, Grind and Zool pedals with the exact same settings going into the Omega Ampworks Granifier, the exact same settings for Zilla cabs and then Smash and Grab Compressor, all of the exact same. So, here is that same riff with the Omega. And 
and then the duper. <laughs> Do it one more time, Omega. All right, so there's some examples of how the duper and the Omega sound with the, the Fortin pedals, with the, G, the GGD Zilla Cab IRs, of course, with all the, the defaults and the duper as well. Uh, all of that sounds great, but what does it sound like in a mix? Well, let's go ahead and give them each a listen separately, um, dual tracked uh, with a left and a right through the duper, then the same thing with the Omega, and then we'll split them. We'll do left Omega and right duper or, or vice versa, either way, just to hear them hear what they sound like together and if they complement each other well. So we'll jump into that now. So I've already got just a quick something I've thrown together here. Um, it's the exact same riff I've been playing, but this time it's in a full mix. It's got bass and drums and everything. It's dual tracks. So uh, we will start with the duper. We'll listen to this, then we'll do the Omega, and then we'll split them. So here is the duper. really thick and tight. I, I really like that. It sounds absolutely fantastic. Let's just see what the, uh, the Omega sounds like in our mix here for comparison. Incredible, yeah, these, these both are absolutely fantastic amp simulators. I, I absolutely love the tones of both of these. This, this is exactly the tone that I, I personally just, I love so much. It just, it just bites, it cuts through this mix, but it sits in there well too, and it just sounds so, so chunky. Um, so now let's just see what they sound like if we split them. So if we do, let's see, we're gonna do Omega on the right, and then duper on the left. So just to make sure I'm not lying, we'll solo, this should be the Omega on our right channel. And it is, and then we should have a duper on the left channel. And it is. So this is what we, uh, this is what it sounds like com uh, complimenting, or if they complement each other well in a mix, one left, one right. Yes, yes they do, very well so, oh my gosh. That, uh, that is incredible. Yeah, these are both absolutely fantastic amp sims and you heard it for yourself right there. I hope you heard the same thing I just did because it was, it would, they, those two complement each other extremely well. Uh, they sit it, it, it's so well in the mix together. It's it's unbelievable. So I think I found one of my favorite new amp sim com uh, uh, Comparisons or, or not comparisons, but just the way that they complement each other in this mix So I will I will absolutely be be doing more tracks with these two amp sims uh, Excellent work ML sound lab for uh, super duper uh, I had a lot of fun putting this together and playing with these so keep up the great work all right, everyone, there you have it. The Super Duper from ML Sound Lab. What do you think? What are your thoughts? How did it sound? Especially when we put the Fortin grind in front of it and then followed it up with an external IR through GGD Zilla cabs. How did you think all that sounded? Hit me down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to like and share. And as always, thank you for watching and thank you for your support.